Next question is how do you handle your bashers? The cons? Um, there's none. How do we make up after we fight? <laughs> like, that's common sense, guys. What does my dream life look with Blythe? It's a wrap, guys. Mm. No, I'm Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. I am so excited for this vlog because I haven't done a sit-down vlog with my special guest for a long, long time already. I think the last one was the Tagalog challenge vlog. So, you guys probably all know who my special guest is already because Tagalog challenge equals... <laughs> Dwight Ross! Yo! <laughs> We're not in the middle. Can you move? You didn't give me no room. <laughs> Dwight and I have been LDR for a long time already. That's true. So it's very important for us to bond even if we're miles apart. Right, Dwight? Yes. <laughs> Why are you getting nervous? It's been a long time. <laughs> So we find different ways to bond, may it be FaceTiming, watching movies, what else do we do? Play games. Play online games! Speaking of online games, I have been obsessed with this game lately. I discovered this game for my sisters and let me tell you, I have been so addicted. You know what game this is? I know. That one you always play. Correct! <laughs> Okay, so this game is called Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is an open world game where you can play on the PlayStation, computer, and even your mobile phone. Basically, you start your adventure into the continent of Taiwan, where you can step into seven different regions and experience different cultures. You can climb, swim, and glide your way across the different regions and conquer challenges, solve problems, and defeat enemies. And the best thing about this is that you can team up and play with your friends in the co-op mode. We can do challenges and quests together. Like, don't you want that bonding? Yeah, I like that bonding. Perfect. <laughs> that being said, a version 3.8 will be available from July 5 to July 24, where it will feature the Secret Summer Paradise event where you can collect vouchers and redeem rewards. The Secret Summer Paradise will be featuring bottle land, a new area everyone can explore. There will also be lots of mini games such as Spino Blaster, Sojourns of the Barking Fox, Dance of Flashing Thought, and Big Bang Pinchball. Also, the HoYo is happening soon, so stay tuned to Genshin Impact's Facebook page for more information. Download the game using the link I will be putting in the description box, or you can download it by scanning this QR code. Use the redeem code in the description box to get 60 Prima Gems and 5 Adventures experience for new players, and if you are an old player, you get 600 Prima Gems. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> so let's get this vlog started! When was the last time we did this? Like uh, five years ago. Probably two Is that years when ago. I had the glasses on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a long time. So we are doing an Ask KK Dwight because you guys have been requesting for this. So. <laughs> Since you guys have been requesting this, of course, we begin namin kayo. Let's we begin namin kayo. We're giving. It's we're giving to you or I'm giving to you. Either way, it's the same thing. We're, we're giving it to you. We're giving it to you guys. So I asked you guys questions on my Instagram asking you guys to ask us questions. So we got our questions in. Are you nervous? No, I saw your story. Let's start. I picked 21 questions because this is 21 questions with Dwight Ramos. He uh, told me to... Interview? I didn't tell you that. He told me. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say anything. He told me to make it 21. I no, don't know I why. No, you I did. Just admit it. No. First question. All right, go. Wait, it's, it's not like there's an answer there. <laughs> <laughs> what are your love languages? SZA. I like that song. Um, Can we? What? This is a serious vlog. <laughs> what are, what are the love languages again? What is that called? The quality time ones? Quality stuff? time, words of affirmation, gift giving, physical touch, and acts of service. I like quality time and... Um, what was the other one you said? Words of affirmation? Yeah, that one. 
What, what's your number one? I don't know. It's one. They're both the same for me. My Probably number quality one's time. Eh, coffee. I already know hers. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's quality time also. Well, especially that for LDR, you know. That's ironic. Quality time and long distance. Yeah. Quality time, but we don't really like spend time that much. Like in a year, we only see each other for like two months. A couple weeks a year. Yeah. Yeah. Tough. <laughs> Speaking of LDR, what's the secret of having a strong LDR? That's a good question. Yeah, you need good Wi-Fi. Um, <laughs> what? What? You gotta be able to call it, that's why. Well, let me just tell you, LDR is not for the weak. I agree. Right? Like, it really, you really have to be... Then I start crying. <laughs> you both need to be strong for the relationship. Yeah. You need good communication. <laughs> Find different ways to bond, like the mobile game. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what else? Contribute to the answer. It. Like, this is Ask KK Dwight. Got it. <laughs> I agree. You just need to want it. If you don't want it, then it's not going to work out. I know. Yeah, that's really the secret. She got the details, but really the secret is you just got to want it. You just need to want it. Yeah. And you want it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what do you find hardest about being away from each other? I think that's a better question for you. What? What? Because I'm away from everybody. So do my, I find it hardest? I'm literally by myself. Well, you know, there's some days, like, I wish Dwight was with me, but he can't be, you know? Yeah. Because I literally have to take a plane to see him. It's not like I can drive to see him. Yeah, there's just, like, some days I feel down and... My boyfriend, like that. Mm. Your turn. My turn? Ask KK Dwight. You said it was 21 questions with Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> 21 questions with KK Dwight, I mean. Go. All right. You know, you don't get to spend quality time, you don't get to see them in person, mm -hmm. you don't get to go out to eat with them. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things that you can't do because you're away from them. So, yeah. Do you get sad? Like, you see couples and then. I miss Keanu. I don't even look at other two <laughs> couples, that's the thing. I'm not out there like looking at everybody. I literally, I'm just... Like, just say yes, you miss me. Yes. Duh. Yes. Gosh. <laughs> what are the things you're looking forward to in the future? Just, you know, making big boy purchases. Just really starting adult adulting. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, haven't you been adulting already? Not really, I don't feel like it. <laughs> hmm. I'm just getting started, that's why. For me, I think about like the present. Me too, I don't really be thinking about the future. Like, I mean, I think about the future, but... Yeah, me not. too, but like, I know my future is like, with you. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I'm sure of, in right. the future, is I'm gonna be with you. Hopefully that's for you too. Yeah. Cracked it. Why are you red, bro? I'm not red. <laughs> okay, next! It's in Tagalog, but I'll translate. It's ano madalas nyo pinagawayan or nagaaway ba kayo? This means what do you usually argue about, or do we even argue? I mean, no relationship is perfect. Everyone like argues. Yeah, I mean that's a given. Mm -hmm. It's like we're in long distance a lot, yeah. so I mean she'd be tripping when I don't reply. I'm like me or you? She'd be tripping. Let's be honest, it's me and you. Nah, just you. <laughs> What do we usually argue about? I think it's more of the miscommunication. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right? It's hard to tell with the text. Exactly. In LDR, you don't know the tone, you don't know the mood of someone when you message. Unlike in person, you know like how they're saying it. Like, I could say, okay, and he would think like, oh, I'm mad. But really, I'm really okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've experienced it. <laughs> <laughs> this is very timely. How do you uplift each other when one of you has a bad game? What do you want to do? <laughs> what do I do to you? Yeah. Well, I asked you first. <laughs> well, she wasn't happy about her last game. Yes, I wasn't. And so, of course, just took her out to eat some nice food, mm -hmm. talk to her, and uh, as long as you, you know what they say about a woman, just give her some good food and they'll be happy. <laughs> 
As long as they're eating good, then things will be okay. The food, the food was the icebreaker. Like, good food makes anyone happy. That's all I'm saying. After that, she started talking. Yeah. So, that's what I did. Well, I guess, okay. Well, I guess it's a pro that we're both athletes, so we both understand, like, when we have a bad game, it's not really, like, the end of the world, you know? Yeah, but I understand volleyball more than you understand basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to argue right now? <laughs> but like, yeah, you know, it's normal to have a bad game. You can't yeah, that's true. be perfect all the time. But then Dwight just calms me down, says like, there's always the next game, you can do better, more days to improve. And I also say that to him, right? Yeah. That's how we uplift each other. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a personal goal you'd like to achieve in the next five years or so? In five years? In mm -hmm. five years, I'm gonna be like close to 30. Probably, you know, build a business, have a nice house, nice car. That's it? I mean, those are the goals, right? What else are your goals? You just want me to say you're part of the goals. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a given. Hey! <laughs> what age? Like, before you met me, did you plan on getting married? I'll be honest, mm. I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking about any marriage or anything. Like, ever? Like, even before me? I was never thinking like, you know, I gotta get married at this age. I was, I'm just like, when it happens, it happens. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's just a girl thing? Yeah, I think so. But like, now, like, what age would you say you wanna get married? You trying to start a countdown or what? <laughs> <laughs> like, no pressure, but like, just what age. When it happens, it happens. Just be patient. Well, me, honestly, I mean, you already know this, like, we talk about it. I wanted to get married at 28. I'm about to turn 28 in two weeks. I'm not even 25, so, <laughs> I mean. Say I'd be a little compromised. <laughs> I'm just saying, like I don't like. I used to think I wanted to get married at 28, but now that my boyfriend's three years younger than me, I guess. Yeah. Do you get jealous to girls? Na papansin kay Dwight. You know what's papansin? No. Papansin is like when they want your attention. I don't think girls even do that. I love this guy. What? You just don't notice it, but we see a lot of girls trying to flirt with you. No. Yes. Like, really, nobody talks to me. The only time they talk to me is if I want a picture. Well, me, I don't get jealous. Dwight doesn't do things that make me want to get jealous. Like, I'm so lucky his personality is... Like, he doesn't talk to people. You love this girl. <laughs> But She's though. saying I'm antisocial. <laughs> Aren't you? No. <laughs> I'm social sometimes. But I just yeah. Gotta, I have a low social battery. You know, girls should be like, you know, when someone has a boyfriend already, like, back off. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, that's common sense, guys. Paano kayo nagkakabate kapag nagkaaway kayo? How do we make up after we fight? We talk I just, about it. I just gotta look at her for like, if I stare at her for a couple seconds, she's gonna start laughing. So then we're good. <laughs> like I'll just stare at her like that while she's mad. And then she'll start laughing. Well, of course we talk about it, right? Like we talk about- Talk about it after, but it takes a while for her to start talking. But it, Cause it's hard for me to like, voice out my like concerns because I'm gonna start crying or I just feel like I have to collect my thoughts first, you know? Yeah, that's why I gotta stare at her until she starts laughing. How does it feel like to be in love with someone who is an athlete? Like, pros and cons, please. It says Dwight, but I wanna answer also. Uh, pros, we can relate. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing. She can understand my life, I understand her life, understand my time. Yeah, just being relatable, that's the pros. The cons, um, there's none. There is. She got cons about me, I don't. <laughs> no, the cons is like, you being an athlete, you have to be overseas and like... I mean, yeah, the, the, con, the cons is that we don't have much time yeah. as athletes, but... That's the cons I'm saying, but that... I was just joking. She, yeah. She's taking it seriously. 
it's hard to balance your time as an athlete. Yeah, we don't have that. So you want to get better at your sport, you have a relationship, and you also have family. Yeah, we don't have that luxury like other couples do that we can see each other when we want to. But we also have obligations. Yeah. My pros is the same as Dwight. So. At this point, I don't think this is 21, but I lost count already. Next question is, how do you handle your bashers? It doesn't really like matter to me because, first of all, I don't even know that person. The only opinion that matters to me is from the people who are close to me and the people I love. And if you like hide under like a fake account bashing me, like this guy's not life. Seriously, you made, you made an account to bash people to make them feel bad. Like he's just bored at this point. <laughs> Well, me honestly, I'll read it. I might feel, I might like get mad or something. But mm -hmm. honestly, once I see a message like that, they're blocked within 10, 15 seconds. They're already blocked. True. Just because it doesn't really matter. True. So, what do you guys think about your age gap? Honestly, it's only on paper. Without the papers, like we're probably the same age. True. That's that's what I think about the age gap. Me also. I feel young. I always feel young. <laughs> Age is just the number, and like it doesn't show. Like the age gap doesn't show here. Yeah, it doesn't. Then -da! I will give the last question to Dwight since I have been choosing the questions. All right, close my eyes and choose it. All right. What does your dream life look like with Dwight? Okay. Yeah. Let me see. What does my dream life look with Dwight? I mean, us growing old and together. It's a wrap, guys. Um, <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, like if we're, you know, living in a big mansion, or, like, with, if that's what you're like trying to ask me. Not Just like as long as, as we're as long as we're together, then that's my dream. Okay. Okay, that is it. Ding, 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 ding. It's a wrap. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. See you. See you next vlog. Perfect.